What's up everybody, welcome back to Bond's Box. It's a uh, been a while since I've put up a video, but um, um, we are back with another unboxing. This time it is for Little Nightmares 2, the TV edition. Um, so this game came out today, I think. 11th of February? I think it came out today, maybe tomorrow, I don't know. I, I'm never sure if I get these things early or not, because I forget. But uh, yeah, I mean, obviously it's a sequel to Little Nightmares. Um, it's quite a dainty little box. I was kind of expecting it to be bigger, but at the same time, it seems like they've done a really good job of like tessellating stuff into the packaging. Um, but yeah, uh, as you can see, it is optimized for Xbox Series X. Um, so I assume uh, I believe it is for PS5 as well. Single player only game, smart delivery. Uh, will you face this collection of new little nightmares? So I never actually got around to playing the first one, but I always wanted to. I just never found the time. Um, I probably should check that one out before I play this one, but uh, this edition looked pretty cool all the same. You got a little image here. Let me get this reflective wrapper off. Okay, it's going to slide out. Um, so yeah, as you can see on the side, we have Little Nightmares 2. TV edition comes with the following physical items collector's TV box, escape diorama, Little Nightmares 2 original soundtrack, art book the, of the art of Little Nightmares 2, collectible steel book, which, uh, as I'm sure you know, is the thing I was most excited about, and exclusive Little Nightmare 2 stickers. Um, so, when you see, this slides right off. And yeah, it's obviously them inside it. There's a TV within a TV being pulled out of the inner TV. We'll get to we'll get to them in a little bit. So I mean, obviously, yeah, this box is uh, like a very much a TV kind of design, with some sort of goop kind of oozing out of it. I assume that's related to the story in some way. So yeah, once you get inside, you got a nice little package. Um, Get to, okay, let's do the figure first for a change. Mix it up on you all. Usually I do the figures last, but uh. So you've got this kind of backdrop here. Quickly take a look at that if you wanted to use it for your statue or whatever. Obviously about the size of a game case. Um, yeah, and the actual statue, I mean, it like it is very small. Um, I mean, here's the game case. We'll check that out for uh, size comparison. So very small figure. So if you if you're in wanting to get like a collector's edition or a figure for this game and uh, you don't have much space, this would be perfect. I mean, it could easily sit on your desk or you know whatever. And it's six being pulled out the TV by whoever the uh, bag man is. Don't know. I just know this person's called Six. I think didn't get the collector's edition for the first one. Maybe I should try. I don't know. Uh, we're on some sort of wood plank. It's very much made out of plastic. Um, but it's it's very sturdy, I'd say. Although I'm not sure if that's supposed to be coming away here, or not. I mean, it doesn't seem like it's loose, so I'm gonna assume it's fine. Yeah, that's the figure. So that's the uh, that's like kind of the main event of the edition for the kind of. Uh, What's the word? The kind of headline event. <laughs> There's an art book. Some very twisted kind of imagery in there, which very much in line with the games. Flip through there. Whoa. Some seriously sadistic game, man. I swear it looks so creepy. I'm looking forward to checking it out. Maybe I'll check it out on stream? Maybe I'll check out the first one. I don't know. Anyway, uh, I'm just thinking out loud. Uh, so yeah, back's very plain. Bandai Namco Studios. You got uh, eyeballs all over the front. Here are the stickers. So they are, again, pretty creepy, as you would expect. Are they transparent stickers? No. They are solid white all around the edges, so they are very much just your average stickers. Um, but yeah, you know, if you want to decorate something with a little nightmare theme, then this edition has you covered. 
um, as we uh, already covered is Series X optimized, enhanced, no, op optimized. I always forget which word in they use now. Something I've noticed with the uh, more recent Xbox games also, they just say Xbox on the side here, on the little label. Whereas I think it used to say Xbox One or whatever, so obviously, you know, they're leaning into the whole Xbox thing for you, selling with Xbox One on your consoles with optical drive. Game just inside, must accept, blah blah blah. Um, yeah, nothing really much on the back here. I'm gonna stick that there for now. Cover is really cool. I'm really liking the kind of there's this tall person kind of looking this weird head thing, like in the kind of blue. There's my code for what do I get? I'm gonna redeem this before I upload this. Uh, the gnome's attic game add-on. Not sure what that is, and the Makujin hat. That's just like a cosmetic, maybe. And then you get a code for what? Bandai Namco. Epic, get a thousand epic points, digital art book, two avatars, four digital soundtrack, digital wallpapers from the game. So that's where the soundtrack is. It is it's just, you know, a code. Okay, now well, we'll check out the desk real quick. Again, kind of like that blue look to it. Very much in line with the uh, cover of the game. <clears throat> Okay, so the main event for me is, uh, if you've been watching my videos for a while, you'll know Steelbooks for me are very much kind of my favorite thing to get in a collector's edition. I do love all the other stuff usually, but... Oh! So there's a physical soundtrack as well. Take that back. Put that to one side so we can check out the Steelbooks. So, um... Again, if you've been watching these, my videos for a while, you know I've been complaining about titles either not being on the spine, or being upside down, or or whatever. But this time we do have the uh, we have the title on the spine is the correct way up, so it is automatically a win. The can I get this open? The outside is very kind of abstract. Looks like there's that tall man again in the uh, in the doorway here. And then I'm not sure what this is about. Obviously, I get, um, it looks kind of like uh, the city. Maybe kind of like the stuff from the front cover here. More silhouette-y, I guess. Um, so I'm sure it's got something to do with the game. And then on the inside, we've got some broken toys by the look of it. Very kind of creepy looking. <laughs> Especially this one here. I do not like the look of her. Um... Yeah, that is the uh, the Little Nightmares 2 TV edition. So, quick recap: you obviously get the uh, you get the game, you get uh, original soundtrack on disc, you get a DLC code for the Makujin hat and the Gnome's attic, as well as this. This probably in all of them, maybe I don't know. But uh, that was an effort points for on whatever that is. My Nan Hamco digital art, but two avatars, four digital soundtrack, digital wallpapers for the game. You got this sticker sheet. You have the art book, which, you know, if you're into art books, it definitely seems like a pretty decent one. Um, we have the steelbook, and we have the statue of uh, Six, and I, I know they've said this person's name, but I don't remember it. Um, yeah, the, the new, uh, new character, so he's been pulled out of a TV. Pretty good effect, I'd say. Yeah, so I mean, little uh, collector's edition there. It wasn't too expensive. Um, it was available a game here in the UK. I'm not sure if it was exclusive or not. Um, and 
And yeah, um, let me know if you've picked up this game, if you're picking this edition up, if you've played the original, what you think of it, uh, all that good stuff in the comments below. Give me that thumbs up if you did enjoy this video. Um, I'm hoping to get a few more unboxings out this month. I've got some stuff coming and I've got some older stuff that I'm just going to do unboxings for and see if you guys maybe like it. Um, maybe you won't. I don't know. Well, one way to find out. Um, but it's, uh, well, uh, we'll see how that goes. Uh, subscribe if you want to see more content, hit the bell if you want to know when any of that stuff goes live. Hopefully, um, I will start uploading it a little more regularly now. But, uh, but yeah, I hope you're having a good day. I hope you're all staying safe, and I will see you next time.